guys, welcome back to my channel. So after recording my grungy star makeup look with that MAC Blue Brown pigment, I wanted to do more one shadow looks and I wanted to play around with some of the MAC pigments in my collection because I never really pull them out that much and I feel like they get a bit neglected and some of them are really, really beautiful pigments. So I just really wanted to create more one shadow looks and I hope it helps those of you who maybe don't necessarily feel confident in applying lots of different eyeshadows or even people who feel like they don't really have the time or they just want to get a really nice eyeshadow look without putting in a ton of effort. So the MAC pigment that I'm using today is called Rose and it is just a beautiful rose gold pigment. And even though I'm wearing this on my eyes right now, I'm going to just swatch it for you anyway. So as you can see, it's a beautiful rose pigment and then it has that flash of gold going through as it catches the lights. So that's the pigment that I've chosen today and for the rest of my skin I wanted to go for this really fresh, dewy, very glowy look. Really nice and summer appropriate. So if you guys want to see how I got this look then please keep watching. Okay so firstly I'm going to prime my eyes using Max a Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just going to apply that up to my brow bone using my ring finger and then I'm going to take Max Rose Pigment and I'm just going to apply this all over the lid up to the crease. Once that's applied, I'm going to swap over to a blending brush and I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines. And then once that's blended, I'm just going to swap back over to my flat shading brush and I'm going to apply this under my lower lash line. going to apply my Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics colour pencil in Tarde to my waterline and tight line. And then I'll be going in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm just going to remove any fallout that may have occurred with a makeup wipe and then I'll be going in with L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer and this is a great primer, it gives like a dewy metallic finish to the skin and it just looks great under foundation as well. The foundation I'll be using today is Rimmel's Lasting Finish Foundation and this is in the shade Light Porcelain. It's a great match for my skin tone. So I'm just going to apply that and then blend it out with my beauty blender. For concealer, as always, I'll be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I'm just taking that under my eyes and I'm going to apply that to any blemishes on the face as well. My skin's pretty clear so there's only a couple on my face at the moment. And then I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender as well. Now I don't want to set my face completely because I want to have that dewiness coming through so I'm just going to take a very tiny amount of the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Cameo and I'm just going to apply that to any places that might get slightly oily and then I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend out that lower lash line. The blush I'm using today is going to be Benefit Rocketeur, one of my favourite blushes of all time and just very appropriate for this rose gold look. And then the prime, uh, sorry, the highlighter that I'm taking is Candlelight Glow by Too Faced. And I'm just going to apply this above the arches of my brows and on the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin as well. Not too much, so I don't want to look like I've got a completely sweaty chin. I want to keep the lips quite nude today. I want all the focus to be on the eyes, so I'm using Bourjois Cotton Candy Lip Liner and then I'm applying Tantalising Taupe by Maybelline. And 
that completes the look. I really hope you like this look guys and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!